But no, Polar Express, I don't know what it is. Hits the right spot. Elf about six times. You haven't watched Christmas yet? Die hard. Quite like Bad Santa. Bad Santa. <laughs> Considering they're very expensive, I'm a bit scared, but I mean, we, we move, don't we? Can't be scared all your life. So the frame right. for yep. the seats, this rests up against it. So we just need to cut it out so it can so slot in over the top. There's the line to cut out for the wheel arch. Do we smooth that off? And then there's this panel, because this panel won't fix it in permanently, because that's what we're gonna, we're gonna lose that corner. I think so. I fix that in, smooth that off, and the same with this one on that front corner and fix it. Them, all them LED what, units yeah. that are hanging yeah, down yeah. here, mm -hmm. can they be extended? What if we moved them control boxes to that front, that rear seat, the first seat base? Yeah, as long no, as No, the sub box. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, there is sub box in the rear. So that unit at the back. We need to go and check that first, I think, before the, whether we can extend. Yeah, before we start making any cups or anything like that. It's one week before Christmas. It is one week before Christmas. Have you watched any Christmas movies yet? I actually have. What have you watched? Home Alone. The original. Of course, you've got to, right? Every year. Go to Christmas Day every year without fail. What do you think it is? Oh, I would say Holiday with Cameron Diaz in. Actually not, but see why. <laughs> Polo Express, mate. Okay, not Jack Frost, not that Jack Frost. That is a banger. But no, Polo Express, I don't know what it is. Hits the right spot. Beth, have you watched any Christmas movies? Of course I have. What have you watched? Elf about six times. The Grinch about four. Fred Claus about three. No, what's your favourite overall? Oh, Christmas overall film? Christmas film. Mm -hmm. It's got to be Elf. Have I watched Christmas film? No. You haven't watched Christmas film? Mm -hmm. What? Alright. Well, then what are you talking about? I bet you only watch Home Alone or something. I've watched Home Alone. Oh, okay. Have you watched Holiday? No. You've not watched Holiday? No. Jack Frost? The back day? Elf. Watch Elf. Oh, um, yeah. Elf. Have you been watching any Christmas movies yet? I watched Reacher. Is that, is that a Christmas movie? No, there's lots of killing in it. <laughs> What's your number one favourite Christmas movie then? Die Hard. <laughs> Nakachami, or whatever it is. <laughs> Why have I got this on? <laughs> we've had like, it just seems like we've had days and days of wiring. It just feels like you're never getting anywhere. Mm. But we've hit a point today where actually panels are starting to go back in, things are obviously working. There's a lot of trimming, so we're doing, there's multiple zones of LEDs and controls and, and everything else like that. So we're just obviously running this on the, on the split charge. Just leave it running because we, we don't. The last thing we want to do is give the customer it back and tell him he can only use it for half hour or something. You know, so we're just gonna keep building it up, let it run, do all the tests. So you know, when we do give the vehicle back, he can just go and enjoy it, put it on a show, not worry that it's gonna go flat after an hour. It, it caught us off guard as well because you know LEDs they don't draw, they don't draw any sort of energy current amps. You know, it, but this pixel tape and the fact that we've got over 26 meters of LEDs in there, it can, on an extreme case, draw draw up to 40 amp, which then just changed everything with the DC to DC charger, like a split charge system. The battery that we've had to put in it, it's just it's just had this knock on effect because that's not the only thing that's running. It's just it's just doing it properly, really, and having that complete system that you can just use this van and, and enjoy it. So it's got nearly, it's got like two hours of the ceiling running already. We've got to we have got to run the battery down a little bit to then make sure that the split charge system is efficient. So we, that's why you know we'll just run it down, crank the engine, and see just make sure everything's putting the charge in and working as it should do. Yeah. While continuing to assemble this mammoth job. <laughs> Well, this is it, last last working day of 2023. Half the team are already off, enjoying the Christmas breaks. Me, Will and Beth are left, 
so I think since last time you filmed a week ago, finally putting the puzzle back together. Admittedly, it'd be nice to have finished it before the end of the year. I say this about the jobs just keep getting bigger and bigger, and more intense and ideas and designs and it's all bespoke. There's no instruction manuals for this. It just takes so much time to get the fit and finish as close to, I don't know, what a manufacturer, what you would expect in an OEM vehicle. You know, panels need to fit correctly, trim needs to be finished, gap in, the way it illuminates, the way it functions, strip down to get to fuses. It's, it's a mammoth task, not only physically, but mentally, but we're enjoying it. We, we enjoy it, it's what we do. This is as far as we've got to wrap up the year. I think we are bringing this video forward because it was tagged on to some Christmas messages and, and various bits and pieces. So yeah, we ultimately um, just thank you for all, all the support through 2023, well, and previous years for all the new and old clients that have been on board. Wishing you and your, your families a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So yeah, this is obviously, I think we've touched on other videos or we've put hints through Instagram and everything throughout the year. This is, this is having six, Six of the Recaro CSs, we obviously haven't got the back to it, the back two section finished yet, and in the seats are trimmed. We've just got to wrap up that in the new year. Sort of like, I don't know, VIP, traveling, luxury traveling sort of vibe, I guess. We are professionals, but fitting seats, aftermarket seats where they weren't meant to go and, and everything else like that is, it's not a concern, but it needs thinking about. So we've, we've completely over-engineered the, the subframe, but it, it bolts through the OEM. I can't remember what he said. This is shuttle buses, has the, the two rows of seats. So we had a lot of OEM fixings, OEM spreader plates and everything underneath the vehicle. So we just sort of chose to, to run with that. Uh, we had to run through this with the client. You know, we went through, we went for sort of retractable lap straps. There is no room for, obviously the OEM over the shoulder seat belt, three point harness is fixed at this B pillar. So it just wasn't worth trying to manufacture something to hold a seat belt here the client's fine with that it still passes mot so yeah we, we chose to go with that sort of armrests support we've got a sort of samsung tablets he's a samsung fan uh, not rather than I, I apple um so yeah we've got the the samsung tablets all built into center console one for each um pair of passengers wireless charging cup holders these are just being machined out of billet they're, they're going to drop in there. We've got a, a different style of armrest at the rear. One to, to add a little bit of character, but also the rear quarters at the back with the wheel arches, we had to bring the seat slightly in from, from these ones, which is, there's more room because you've got the sliding doors, which when we replicated it, the armrests ended up they look they, visually they just look too thin they, they just I don't think they would have been comfortable like they will be here. These are all built up with sort of neoprene foam so they sort of replicate an OEM armrest. Everything's in zones, so we, you know, we've got tunnel lighting underneath the backs of your, uh, your heels, uh, or the backs of your legs. We've ran, this is all illuminated, all through the centre console. I mean, we can start, well, this is wired up, so we can start turning some of these on. I mean, it definitely is a party bus when it's fully lit. We ordered these switches and then we've custom engraved logos on to represent the zones in the vehicle, so the, the sort of charging, the charging button. So when it's on, it's illuminated. This is obviously going to mount up into the center console. Uh, and again, it just just the little details that we've gone through. Obviously, it's quite a, a color coding. If this ever goes somewhere else to be worked on or anything, we've put a little, we've laser engraved a little key underneath the dash. So anyone that strips it out and removes that and maybe doesn't think as thorough as we do and labels as they're removing it, we've done the thinking for them. So that can go back together. So yeah, the, uh, the chargers are on. So to, to let you know that the chargers are on, it's tied in with illumination. So as you, well, you can see here, oh, I don't know if you got that. So yeah, wireless, wireless charging, just sort of chuck that in. There we go. Um, yeah, again, with just that, that nice little detail. Again, this is all running off the split charge battery, so stationary, it's not gonna kill the, kill the front battery. Ceiling lights, so we can fire up, fire up the, the disco. Although we've got it, I quite like the, the colour change in, but again, this is all, you can just change it. If you just wanted um, like a solid colour, solid white or something like that, or blue, green, you know, you just change it as, as you want. I think that one has the most effect. The tunnel lights. So again, on goes the next one. This is also the pixel tape that replicates the ceiling. So these two zones are paired together. We chose to do white with all the other stuff. I mean, this is just full, you know, well, you can drive like this, but we've zoned everything so it gets a bit too much. You know, I can imagine some people getting a bit of a headache from the ceiling um, after after a while. This is with under, under seats, pop the under 
under seat ones on. These are just like a white, a white glow. So yeah, we just turned out the zone. So again, like maybe traveling at night and stuff, these, these can just, uh, just run. And the last one, um, that's just the plush, the plush plaques, but also um, the armrest details as well. So again, you've got, you've got the plush plaque, and a subtle glow around the armrest, and then also underneath and between the armrests. Um, and again, I'm the same on the back. We hammered it with the roof. Like I say, that that ran solid for just over two hours, I think, uh, which dropped us dropped us down on the battery. It didn't empty the battery. Fired up the engine. You know, everything was fine. Because oh, these have got smart alternators. It's got various settings on the on the DC to DC charger that we've had to we've been messing around with. Obviously, um, there's various combinations on charging, which which just took the last week to get the right combination, I guess, to to feed it in. Um, obviously, it can run it flat. But the way it was set up when you were here last week, I don't think driving would have ever put the juice back back into it. So we've we've been through more. I mean, the, the instruction manuals are, you know, <laughs> so so thick, and we've worked it all out now. So yeah, that that's that's done. We'll get we'll get it sort of finished, fully charged, and we'll get the audio playing. Obviously, it's got a thesis front end, which we touched on in another video, I think. Um, so yeah, he's got on the thesis front end. He's got a pair of 12s, which are mounted down firing underneath the rear seats, uh, fully active. We've got Voce components in the back, some rear fill. It's just, that's what I mean, is there's so much thought process that, that goes into all of this. Just making panels removable at a later date or serviceable. A again, rooting everything. So the, f the 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 master fuse box is is located, you know, along with the battery and everything in in the tunnel. So these are fixed as such. The cup holders, they're all on magnets so that can come out. Again, the fuse box. It's all it's all functional and serviceable. You know, they're the kind of details that take a lot a lot of time thinking. But when the I mean, you shouldn't ever have to replace a fuse. But on systems this big and stuff like that as much as we'll run tests when it's out there in the real world you know maybe on show all day illuminated or you know he may he may or may not have to change a fuse in the future but it's going to be easy it's not he hasn't got to bring it back to us for us to spend two days stripping it all down because one fuse is buried under there and one's there it's 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 all located, isolated there. Same, we've got isolator under this this cup holder. So if you ever want to just isolate the rear battery from the front, it's just all simple and, and well thought out. Well, as, as well as we as well as we can. You know, we've not always been like this. You know, when I first started in 2006, there maybe a lot of fuse there and there. And but yeah, we're just trying to zone everything, and make sure everything's functioning as as should. It is, it is quite. Uh, Sort of proud again, you know, the storage box is behind here, but again, we've labelled what the fuses are in there and what they do. So yeah, it's just that nth degree of, of detail that he can enjoy it. And if he has to take it anywhere else, it, it, they, they can work on it as well. So yeah, we, we forgot about them. We have a couple of storage boxes behind here, just because again, the, the thought process, if we wanted, I mean, these are fixed. Um, so we had to do a worst case scenario if somebody tall drives, so put the front seat, slide them all the way back, put a little bit of a rake on them. So that, that's why we ended up with this void. So rather than just leave it as a void, we've put in some storage units in there. Again, going back to that party bus vibe, these aren't quite finished. We're gonna have foam, foam inlays cut, uh, as you can probably see here, the in-flight menu. Goes into his whiskey and vodka and stuff. For, Oh, he isn't because he, he was driving, uh, but his passengers should be should be along for a good ride. These are just going to be sort of display units and everything else like that. But yeah, just try to maximise the storage that we have got. Super, super cool project. It's like unique. I don't think there's a lot else built out there like, like this. Probably got, I don't know, probably have it. Probably have another month, a month's worth of work from now because we haven't even, so we haven't touched the front end with we've got to carry this level of work into the front so the dashboard i doubt is going to be left alone um door cards are just going to be custom made i, I believe and potentially a center console um, between the seats but we'll, we'll, we'll see how it progresses like i say this is already like spiraled i guess with with ideas and designs and and just getting that that level of detail in, into it we could have chose a lot easier route just putting white leds for example in the in the ceiling 
doesn't require the the control units. The, the, uh, the pixel tape will only run for five meters off a standard unit, um, and we've got 26 in the roof. So that even that's took a, a thought process and speaking to professionals in that uh, industry, setting us up with the correct sort of 12 volt equipment and, and power supplies and stuff to be able to do that. Then you get dead spots in the ceiling when anyone that's in the industry or, or messed around with LEDs shooting it through acrylic, you'll get spots or, or flat spot in the, in, the, in the panel of that size. You'll see it washed out in, this, in the center. So again, that took a lot of trial and testing to get it like, um, I guess like them office lights, the, the ceiling tiles that are they are fully illuminated, uh, but we had to go from the edge. So yeah, that's had, that's had some quite a bit of work to, to achieve that. I guess the, the YouTube is, is allowing us to explain like how much effort this things like this take. Everyone sees the finished article and then, and I guess a percentage of people think it takes five minutes to, to do it. And it's not, it's took hours, hours and hours of workshop time, even my own personal time. I just go home and just, we need to do this, we need to do this. I'm pretty proud of this, this is why I'm yeah, rabbiting on. <laughs> just well. not, yeah. like, it's, it has took a hell of a lot of effort. But yeah, hopefully this, like I say, this will, I don't even know if he's building it for the shows, you know? A lot of our clients build it for their own personal, you know, needs, you know? Groups of friends going out or camping or, you know, day trips and stuff. Yeah, and it's built to enjoy. It's not built to just sit there and look pretty in a field. This should be able to motor up and down the country to whatever event day out he wants to do and, and enjoy so yeah that, that pretty much wraps up 2023 and this this the stage we're at at this project obviously we'll, we'll obviously touch again on this this will probably have another maybe its own video when it's complete hope you guys enjoy it if you want to know any more please put it in the comments yeah we can we can go into more details or we can do other things yeah we, we, we just try and give media and videos that you guys enjoy you know if we're not doing that correctly or you want to see different things just just let us know we'll see you on the flip side <laughs>